hello guys welcome to today's episode so today i'll be taking you to how i retouched and color graded this image here so let me open the raw file again and take you through how i did the raw processing So this is the image okay so I shot this image with the Canon US 5D Mark III and then we shot the pictures around uh, 5 uh, 5 p.m. around the sunset and in the golden hour time and then I used a hundred mm lens that is a Canon USM 100mm and then I used an aperture of f2.8 and then the Canon uh, 100mm USM the f-stop starts from 2.8 so I used the 2.8 then the speed was 1 over 200 seconds and the ISO was 100 so let's see the SOOC that is a straight out of camera yeah so this is what the camera gave me and then after processing this is what I got so I'll take you through so for I reduced the temperature the temperature was shot around the uh, 6000 Kelvin and then the tint was 5 so I reduced the temperature to 5900 and then the tint to 1 yeah I didn't touch the exposure it was okay for me I reduced the highlights just by 11 points and then added a contrast of 5 points I opened up the shadows the whites and then added some blacks I added a texture of 4 clarity to the haze to and as I always do, I reduce the saturation of images and then add a little vibrance. At times too, I don't add vibrance. And then the curve, I just did a slight escape here. That was all that I did here. And then to the color mixer, that is why I did more changes. Yeah, I did, I did a lot there. So let me start from the hue. I took the hue of the reds to the orange side, so adding a bit of yellows to the red, and then the orange, orange side to I pushed it to the red side, so adding a bit of red to the oranges. I'm trying to balance the skin tone, and then the yellows too. I tuned it to the orange side a bit. And the greens too, I pushed it to the aqua side. I added a little of blues to the greens. So as you can see, it was the greens was like this, and then now we can see a bit of uh, blues in it, making it aqua. And then the aquas to uh, I pushed it to the blue side. Yeah. And then the blues to I pushed it back to the aqua side. The last time I talked about the color theory, you can link up. My videos and you see the explanation for all this we have here and then the purple to I took it to the blue side the margin test to I push it to the purple side oh sorry to the red side a bit yeah so this is how the color theory works and um, let me talk about it again when you push the red to the side it's moving to the magenta side and then when you push this one to 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 this side it moves to the right side and then when you push the red to the right side it's shifting to the orange side so as you can see we have a similar color here and then we have a similar color here the same works for the oranges too you see we have yellow here and we have yellow here that is how the color mixer work if you want to balance colors that is how it works and then I pushed in some saturations and then reduced some saturation too. So this is what I did. 
and then the luminance too i did the same here so that was all that i used in the color mixer and then i added some blues and then oranges to the midtones so i added some blues to the shadows some blues to the highlights and then i added oranges to the midtones that is the skin tone yeah and then the last thing i did was the calibration so i pushed the saturation of the red primary mostly works on the skin yeah i pushed it back and then i added a bit of and um, let me say red to the skin yeah using the green primary and then i release the saturation i push the hue of the blue primary to the aqua side of it and then added some saturation so let's see the before and after there is the before and there is the after before after and then the last thing i cropped yeah so it was a full image this is the full image yeah it was how it was looking it was looking nice though but then i cropped because i can't post this full image in instagram so i cropped to four by five and then i push it down like this you can choose to push it up a bit and then get this nice flare the sun is getting for us yeah you can use that one too but i kept it like this so these are before and these are after so i've already opened the image so this the let me see the final image i'm getting so let me turn off everything first of all i removed the blemishes and then flattened the image so you can't see the the layer i used for removing the blemishes and then this was my frequency equation now in my next video i'll be talking about this new frequency equation method i've learned that is using the dust and scratches so this frequency separation it gives much details you get more details compared to the Gaussian blur so I used I duplicated the high layer to get more sharpness in the image so let me turn it off let's see the before of the image so this is the before and then after frequency separation so you could see that we've still retained more details in the image after the frequency separation and then there is a sharpness yeah adding a bit of sharpness so i duplicated this and then reduced the opacity to 30 percent so these are before and these are after and then i went in straight to my dodge and bend so the dodging and bending let's see the bend first let's see what the bend is doing here so i added some contours i i let me say i increased some shadows and then where i needed some shadows to be i added using the bend and then the dodge to i lightened some part where there is light i added more and then some to I didn't add because it was okay for me so these are before and then after the dodge and then and then I did the eyes and teeth whitening yes yeah, so before and after and then this is where the magic happens the color grading yeah so I will take you through what I did here and turn off these layers So I started, I started from the selective color, I fixed in the blacks here, this is what I did, in the blacks and then I moved to the neutrals, I did 
a bit of tweakings there and then the white too i removed the yellows in the white so let's see these are before and after so you can see i've added i've added some magentas to the blacks using the cyan here and then the magentas too so i've pushed it by one and then i reduced the yellows in the shadows okay so that was what i did there and then i added another selective color let me see what, what okay okay so that was for the skin i pushed in some reds to the skin that is the red side and then added a bit of yellows and magentas and then the yellow side too i did the same thing but then here i reduced the magenta a bit and then reduced the yellows in the yellow that was all that i did in this layer so let's see yeah I saw more yellows in the skin so I needed to add some reds to it. So let's see what this layer 2 is doing. Okay so I fixed the greens with this layer. Yeah that was all that I did. The greens. Fix the greens with this layer. And then, so let's see the before and after. Yeah color balance I started from the shadows I added some reds to the shadows I added some greens and then some yellows to the shadows the mid tones I did the same thing and then the highlights the highlights I added some magentas some cyan and then I added blues yeah so let's see the before and after just a slight change now the curves for the curves let's see what i did here okay so i've created a preset for the curve and then my curves mostly i use them for color grading so i got time to do some tweaking here let me take you through you can save it and then you use it for some other time too so the rgb that is the the curves let me see the light side yeah here it controls the light i just added a point here a point and then a point here this point are the already side i added a point here that was all that i did and then i reduced the reds yeah i reduced the reds that is pushing in more blues and then the greens too i did the same thing but just a slight change and then the blues too i pushed it up yeah so i added let me say in general i added blues and then i mostly use this curves preset for my dark skin tones and things but then i saw this image to be too yellow so i had to use this preset i've created to fix the yellows by adding blues so i added another curve and then here to i'm using my choco tone preset yeah it's for curves i'll take you to curves very soon and then you get to understand things so let's see what i did i didn't touch the light side so the red i push it up that is the highlight side and then the greens to i push the highlights down and then push the shadows to down a bit and then the blues too i did the same thing so i only popped the highlights of the of the reds that was what i did and then i reduced the saturation of the yellows yeah the saturation of the yellows i reduced it and then i added some vibrance i did to pushing more colors so i added the vibrance of 
30. I came to the curves again. This time, I added a mid a midpoint that is the mid tones, and then pushed it down a bit, and then pushed the shadows up a bit. So let's see what I'm getting here. Yeah, and then my last curve. I use my outdoor sign preset. I created it too. So as you can see, the curves have reduced the saturation. Those for the presets I used, I've reduced the saturation. This one is ten percent. This one to is twenty percent, and then this one to is fifteen percent. Cause it will be too much. Let me see if I push it to hundred. So you see what I'm getting here. And then if I push this one to hundred, this is what I'm getting. It's giving a nice choco tone to the skin. And then if I push this one up to this is what we are getting. So the caps I mostly use them for creating my skin tone lats and everything. So let's see what I did here. So I added three points here, pushed up the the highlights and then the midpoints too. And the reds too. I toned down the highlights of the red and then pushed up the shadows. So meaning I reduced the shadows, you can say it that way. And then here too I did the same thing. And then I added I added the points here so that it will just affect the side. And then the blues too, I did the same thing here. The levels, I added some contrast using the levels. So I pushed the shadows in by five and then the highlight, I pushed in by five too, it was two five five. So now I, now at two five zero. And then I added a gradient map. So I sampled her skin tone and then added the gradient map so i changed the blending option from normal to multiply yeah and then i reduced the saturation to 10. this is just a, a overview of how i retouch this image i will take you to a retouching series and then i'll get time to explain things more to you and then the last thing I added was a photo filter. I added some blues using the cooling filter 82. And then I reduced the saturation to 20%. After that, I reduced the opacity of the whole color grading group to 90. And then I reduced the brightness using the brightness and contrast here. I just added a watermark. That was all that I did. So let's see. There is the before color grading, after color grading. So let's see the before and after. Before, after. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and then share.